Let's talk about how we use our legs as brakes to create rotation in the golf swing. All right, so Milo, legs as brakes. Well, in, a, in a, any athletic motion, there is some amount of lateral motion going on. If there was nothing to stop the lateral motion, it would just continue on mm -hmm. and it would never convert into a rotation. What has to happen in order to get my body to start to turn, I actually use my trail leg as a, a braking system to, to stop the lateral motion in the backswing. And then as I start to fall and land back to the left, I have to actually use my, my lead leg as a, a braking force to stop me from wandering forward. So this kind of, I think we did a section on this in the five keys video that we did a while back. I think it was sort of the how we're using the ground, groundwork. Yeah. So I think what I did was I actually put like an alignment stick here mm -hmm. and an alignment stick somewhere over here just to show how the different force vectors are working here, right? So as you're pushing or falling into this right side, that force into the ground here is then pushing you back and up. Yes. Right? So I'm pushing into the ground this way, which pushes my body back and up. And then the same goes on this end. So yes. now you've kind of so created <laughs> that height and round. Because I pushed with my right leg, that starts to send me over this way. And now I'm going to fall onto my left leg. And now I've got to push this leg back and around. Mm -hmm. So both legs are pushing into the ground kind of on a diagonal that way. Yeah. Ideally. Now, there are players who move a little different than this, who tend to push more vertically. That's because they have more lateral motion. Mm -hmm. My preference would be more of this. Having worked out and stuff, to me, it kind of, what resonates is a little bit like a speed skater action. So when I do a speed skater exercise, I'm not going this way and falling over. I'm not gliding into you. No, you. I'm not actually <laughs> like on ice here. Right, I'm still staying sort of inside my columns, we call it, yes. right? So actually you see my knees too. There's almost a slight bow to it. Uh huh. So I'm, my hips are staying somewhat inside my legs. Yeah, ideally the hip sockets stay inside the ankle joints and the knees actually cr get bowed outside the hips just slightly so that they can create this angular push back and away. Yeah, okay, so how does width of stance then come into this? Because I think it's important to realize that that appearance, which I just showed, kind of determined a little bit on how wide we stand as well. Yes. Well, width of stance is important. The longer the golf club gets, the wider the stance needs to be to create the braking forces necessary to swing that longer stick. Mm -hmm. So with a wedge, we don't need as much force. We don't have to put as much energy into the golf club. And with driver, we need, we want to swing it fast. Yep. And the stick's really long and it's pulling a lot more, so we need to create more energy back and away. Yeah. To your point, though, it's sort of getting your hip sockets out inside your ankles, or at least on them. That's kind of the look maybe we're going for. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'd... At least, like, wedge up, we'll call yeah, it. Wedge, with wedges, you can have your, your ankles basically under your hips. And then everything outside of that, you're going to have your ankles outside of your hips. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important, too, to talk about, like, with with taller people, having that wider stance can help you get down to the ball without using as much hip flexion at setup. Yes. Employ a little wider base and you'll be able to stay fairly tall in your posture so you can get down to the ball yeah. more comfortably versus, you know, narrow and then bending you know, over a long bending ways. over a lot. I'm not six five so I can't make it look right, but <laughs> <laughs> but you get the drift. So but using our legs as brakes, so the width of stance can be important. You were saying there's actually, there is a little bit of lateral, the center of mass is kind of moving a little bit, right? Generally, we see the center of mass float a little bit in the early part of the backswing and then float a little bit in the early part of the, mm -hmm. the downswing. But the key is it floats for just a second and once force hits into that foot, we've got to start to push ourselves back to the, back to the middle. Yeah. So it kind of sounds like instead of thinking of like, moving our chest lateral, getting the chest back on top, you're almost saying use your legs to kind of, and your, your center and your lower body to kind of create that for you. Is that, am I making sense there? Yeah. To some level, that's what's going on. It's like hitters in baseball, they're using their legs 
yeah, loading into them and striding in that way. And then once they land, they don't push themselves over their front foot. They use their front foot, their front leg to catapult them Ooh, back. Pushes around. everything everything around the corner so their whole body goes up and around behind them like this. Yep. So for those of you that are looking for a more centered action and maybe a little less of this sway, slide, glide, tilt, any of that, don't just use your, your legs to move you laterally. Use them as brakes so you can then create that wind up and then land and then unwind it. Yep. Right, so that's kind of the look we're going for. So what would be maybe a nice little drill or exercise we could do to you know, it always employ this? Leads back to step drills. Step One of my favorites is just to start with my feet together. A little toss, so I saw a little toss out to the target yeah. first. Little toss forward. So that gets some energy in the system, using momentum a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, and I like to, that gives me, that's kind of my trigger. So I toss it forward. And as the club's going forward, I'm gonna create a little rightward step. So you're countering the, the movement of that club, yes. the club head. And then I start to step back to the left while the club is going that way. I'm countering it again. Yeah. So I'm constantly countering the momentum I'm creating in the club. So that's that change of direction. That's that's the pitcher throwing the ball, you're tipping the bat, and then you're starting to land as the bat is still My hands are, up. Are, are feeling like they're moving this way. Yeah. That's the same thing as I'm doing here. And then you can start to make it a little bit less yeah. of a step. More like heel tap, sort of. And just feel like a little heel tap, and then a step with the left foot. So you see this is creating some <coughs> some energy in, in the positions we want a little more naturally versus sort of uh, piecing it together. Yeah. So I actually, now that I see this bucket sitting here, here's another great little feel they can get. We've, taught, we've done this with like kettlebells. For sure. So for me to kind of start moving this bucket and not wandering with it, I'm using my legs as brakes. Yep. You know, I'm countering that the bucket so as it's going up i'm kind of you see i'm stepping to the right here up to the left step step i'm kind of fighting it and i can even start moving you know away from it i could start moving towards it just to add another wrinkle to this and if you wanted to really throw that bucket and swing it hard yeah what would you do swing it hard i would really push back and away i feel like yeah exactly that's what we do with this thing too it so. creates a lot of the club moving around you fast creates a lot of the forces that that bucket does. Yeah. So we're kind of we're kind of fighting it again, using our legs as as brakes and staying in our columns a little bit, so we're not getting too lateral, which can really throw off your low point and things like that. So yep. keeping that in, in mind as well. So. For sure. Okay, everybody. Hopefully you liked this video and found it educational. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. We want you to get all of our videos that we make. Also. We'd love for you to come over to MiloLinesGolf.com where we can actually coach you one-on-one -on -one and help you understand what you need to work on in your golf swing.